Oh, mine now. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. That's, there's going to be something inside. Revelations 1318. Oh, God. You got your Lit Bible? Literally, oh, God. Um, ha. Let's see. Give me a moment. Let's All play. Right. I'll, I'll continue. Revelations 1318, okay? On it. Mike's going to get his Bible, and I'm going to search this room some more. Got this luggage. Does nothing strike you as odd about what you oh, are Oh, damn. Doing? I've still got the hat equipped. Never mind. There we go. Okay. Nothing else to see in there. Right, so the luggage is a no. We have the door, which I don't want to go out of yet. Okay, doctor, doctor, give me the news. Get out of my way. I leave you for a few moments of what have you done. <laughs> He's being very irritating. Okay. This, we, I really want to go outside. Quite interesting. Why would you put a Bible Quite verse in a hat? Quite interesting. Because it's it's, it's in a pipe cleaner. That isn't such a good idea. Okay, mm maybe not. But you need to. Oh, we haven't examined the sleeping draft yet. One teaspoon mixed with water to be taken at bedtime. It's oh, about, uh, <laughs> you're going to love this. Um, okay, okay. What does it say? Wisdom is needed here. <laughs> But, um, yeah. Let the one with understanding solve the meaning of the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. Really? Well, it's passenger number 666, mystery solved. Yeah, he knew he was going to be killed, so he had that written inside his hat. I... T no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Alright, we've got a sleeping room. We... I got stabbed, didn't I? I've got to say, playing 666 in your adventure game is like the tackiest move you can possibly do. It is a bit. Okay, so we've got a mysterious flat match. Or a scrap of burnt paper. This is rather frustrating. I want to get through this window, so I'm guessing we need to take these fingerprints somehow. Pipe cleaning didn't work. Handkerchief. A sleeping draft. You presume that this would be the choice of Poirot? I think not. Maybe I don't want to be Poirot. Well, we he clearly picked up the teeth, so if we rob the teeth... <sighs> quite interesting. Yeah, yeah thanks he's, for that. He's just saying quite interesting. Okay, let's think about this from the perspective of an adventure game designer. Okay. There may be fingerprints. Every object does something. So, the hat, in this case, provides a clue. The pipe cleaner will be used later. The sleeping draft might be used for something like some random guest is, like, complaining about not being able to sleep. In mm. which case, it would be very inappropriate for us to give it to them. This tells us something, in that, basically, we know that it's a certain kind of match that's out of place here. But mm -hmm. we could probably also burn the train later if we want. Yeah. Uh, the handkerchief, I thought, would be the most logical option, really. It says H on it. That's probably just to help us narrow down the suspects or something. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Let's get rid of you guys. I keep feeling that sellotape must be important. But we didn't... I can't get them. We didn't have to take the sellotape. That was an optional extra. We broke into a drawer and took it. I think you will need it. Everything has a purpose. Uh, we, will, we will need it, but... I don't know. Mm. It wasn't. We didn't have to take it at the time, so we might not have it at this point. So it's not Those something. Don't work together. It's not something we need, is it? Can use this. This smudge on this tumbler. Let's try and solve this. So yeah. look at it again. Okay. There's some residue of white powder visible at the bottom, and I think I see a smudge. Can we use the pipe cleaner? Okay, let's give it a shot. Um, that would clean off the smudge, in my opinion. But I want to get the white powder out. Point. Something is wrong. Uh, okay, okay, what else can we combine? Sellotape and a pipe cleaner. I'm going to try the paper napkins. Those don't work together. I probably tried that earlier, but oh well. Now let's add the sellotape. I can't get them to. Nope. The thing I really love here is that there's going to be something where we need to combine four things together. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm hoping it's just bits of a map. Your solution was adding the pipe cleaner at this point? And the sellotape. And the s this doesn't seem to work. Okay. I think uh, if you put a bit of sellotape on the end of a pipe cleaner, you can... Oh, that's a good idea. 
This is how I do it. Get rid of the napkins? Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. It's gone. Those don't Damn it! <sighs> okay, maybe we have to combine these first. Something is wrong. Well, I'm not here. Do you? I did. Um, I thought you could maybe just take it apart by doing that, but oh well. Put it. Oh, hey, hold, hold on. That arrow goes both ways. Put the cellar tape in the other side. Hmm. I can't ah. take that apart. We oh. can decombine stuff. Awesome. Okay, let's take apart the napkins. Some things once done cannot be undone. That sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> you can't separate napkins. Yeah. That We'd fill up our inventory. Oh, just dis 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 discombine the glass. Of course. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm smart, damn it. <laughs> this is going to take us a while, I can tell. Yeah. Oh, dear. Okay. Let's take apart the matchbox. It appears nope. 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 Just nope. Maybe we can... Damn it. I'm going to try something really dumb. We take apart the watch. This doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm seeing if this is an investigative thing. Those don't. No, they do not go together. Okay. Oh, I hate these kind of things. I hate them. I hate them. I, I hate can't them. Take that apart. It's a gun. It is. What are we oh. missing? Oh, statue. Oh. Hello. Something Damn it! Once done cannot be undone. <clears throat> Please bear with us, viewers, while we deal with a ridiculous thing. Okay. So we require fingerprints. Go to the fingerprint screen again. Let's see what's up with that. Okay, that's for comparing fingerprints. So we need actual fingerprints first. What are the other pages like? You presume that this would be the choice of Poirot? Smash it! I think not. Smash it! Okay. Okay, Ooh. is there any way we can get to the fingerprints without <coughs> getting... I'm not really sure how you would go about doing it, honestly. I mean, we... Did we try combining this with just the cellar tape? Yeah. yeah. Do it again. Yeah. Let's keep trying. Something is wrong here. <sighs> you don't say. There are many things wrong in this I'm game. I'm so angry right now. Okay, uh... Can we... Uh, I don't... <laughs> I don't... <sighs> Take care! Maybe there's something we're missing in the room. No, not really. I mean, we can't go in the bathroom, we've gone through the luggage. That tumbler, the handkerchief, and the fact that... I'm done here. <laughs> There. We have a safe. <laughs> we have a safe state. Oi, Poirot! How do we get fingerprints? Yeah. This is not the time to wander. I... Yeah. Let's just... Poirot, help us. He did say we could go to him for help. Get out Monsieur of that Poirot. suit. <laughs> Are we spying on ourselves? All clues must be presented. <laughs> We've already broken the rule about is using no supernatural agencies with psychic Poirot. Yeah, is this just a dumb kind of? This is you and telling. Uh, it is. So it is. We progress, Mademoiselle. Now let us see what we can learn. Oh, I've just realised something. Um, the reason it would be muffled there. Is because you can presumably miss clues in the other carriage, like we did. And as a result of that, rather than recording all the separate dialogue for the things you might have discovered, and then combining them into various combinations, they simply said, oh, I'll just put it in muffled. Yeah, it's just a kind of, this is you updating Poirot I'm, cutscene. I'm the real detective here. Yeah, okay. You. The wounds tell too many different stories. I think this is, um... Yes. Yeah, that's the box of matches suggests the round one belonged to Monsieur Ratchet. I concur. Mm. Did I do good, Poirot? Remember the bottle I found in the suitcase? What do you think of the residue in the tumbler? There we go. What of the residue in the tumbler? A sleeping powder, perhaps, such as that I found in the suitcase. It might explain why Monsieur Ratchet did not cry out when he was attacked. A possibility. However, 
In my experience, the usual dose of a sleeping draft would not be strong enough to prevent awakening if one were violently attacked. In my experience, hmm, the gun was unfired. The gun was unfired. He would certainly have defended himself if he had been able. For now, it might be better if you keep the gun with you for your protection. I would not like our collaboration cut short prematurely. Delightful. Hmm. Yeah, you're not really very reassuring, uh, Director of Poirot Uni. Hmm. Hmm. Go for... Remember the bottle? I don't know, we have to do them all, so we might as well just go through. Yeah. Remember the bottle I found in the suitcase? Wait, a sleeping drop and the bottle half empty. It would be instructive to learn if Ratchet took his usual dosage last night. Guess we could talk to the assistants. Mm. Are the false teeth important? Are the false teeth important? Only to one who must wear them. And why you took for yourself the false teeth of the dead man is not for Poirot to ask. <laughs> but I hope they prove themselves as useful to you as they undoubtedly did to him. Sometimes I just find myself taking things. It's a real problem. <laughs> the wounds tell too many different stories. Wait, oui, the matter begins to clear itself up wonderfully. The murderer was a man of great strength. He was feeble, it was a woman, it was a right-handed person, it was a left-handed person. Ah, c'est rigolo tout ça. And the victim, what does he do in all this? Does he cry out? Does he struggle? Does he defend himself? No. He awaits his doom with the greatest composure. He's very happy. He's like, a mystery. Marvelous. <laughs> I can still do my job when ill. There we go, footprints. Yeah. The footprints outside the window are important. What did they say to you? The killer may have fled the train. And gone where? Still, they must be investigated. Well, there was only one set of footprints, so... Either he was in the train and he left, or he arrived and he's still on the train. Oh dear, here we go. I found the inscription REV 1318 printed on the hat band of his hat. Mm, a curious inscription indeed for the hat. <laughs> Smart ass not telling us. We know Poirot. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if we come across Ratchet's suitcase at some point and the passcode to open it is 666. Grief. Okay, I found only the cigar in the ashtray, no pipe. I found only the cigar in the ashtray, no pipe. Certainly, this is a clue masculine. Monsieur Ratchet smokes the cigar, lighting it with a round match, and someone else, still to be determined, smokes the pipe, lighting it with a flat match. Hmm. The letter H can help us find the owner of the handkerchief. A clue feminine. So dainty. And to have the letter embroidered upon it is so convenient. One cannot complain of having no clues in this case. If a man killed Ratchet, after the sociable smoke? Then the woman came in later, not noticing he was dead, and attacked him as well. Also, not noticing that she had dropped her handkerchief. Very fortunate for us that she was so unobservant. Yeah, it's kind of a weird one, that. I think we're narrowing it down in the conversation tree, at least. Hmm. Let's burn through the rest. The pipe cleaner and the handkerchief are good clues. No. Possibly. What can we learn from them? <laughs> Do my work for me. Oh, huh. hmm. I think we used The broken our... watch tells us the time of death exactly. Very convenient, the broken watches. 1.15, well within Dr. Constantine's estimate of midnight to 2 a.m. What you say is true. Hmm. And he's just like, yep, this is all really convenient. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Everyone's in on it. Throw a curveball, it was actually at 1.15. <laughs> the small metal statuette, it is very old. And possibly quite valuable. Take it with you. It's your Learn reward. More of it if you can. The burnt paper could be significant. What strikes you as most important? Hmm. What was burnt and why? Hmm. What was burnt and why? Precisément. But the paper is impossible to read. It is possible that some of the writing on the paper can be made legible again, if the scrap can be protected, flattened, 
and held firmly in place while the heat is applied. I will need something with which to handle the paper most delicately, two objects of metal netting that we can place it between, and a source of constant heat. Collect for me these items and we will see what we shall see. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the poorly rendered snow. Did we just get a fetch quest? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, well, we really are doing the legwork. <sighs> I should look for the items Monsieur Poirot needs to read the burnt scrap of paper. Oh, we couldn't get any fingerprints. Maybe we can't actually get any at the moment. Maybe. Which would be pretty hilarious, considering the way this game is going. <sighs> oh, it might be like, and then there were none, and then there's just puzzles over... Uh, all over the island, but you can't do anything yet. It's just like, oh hey, the cinema, it's now unlocked. Ah, uh, so we just go keep, we go back like, in a few hours of gameplay later, and it's like, well, we can still go in the room. Now you've got a fingerprint scanner. It's not like the snow would have come in the open window and... Yeah. 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 Okay. The train is going to start stinking. <laughs> just pace up and down <laughs> angrily. Just like, Madame, are you quite all right out there? Shut up, Poirot. I think we should probably say for now after uh, right. that, because yeah. we're going on a fetch quest very soon. Marvelous. Okay. Well, getting somewhere. Well, that was pretty interesting, what we managed to uncover, and yeah. at least the clues are more direct than in and then there were none. <laughs> very true. <laughs> I just hate this item combination discombinating thing. I hate it. You know, the way this game is going, I bet it's going to like turn into some kind of like bizarre satanic ritual thing. Because that is the kind of plot twist these developers would put in after last time. We just go outside the train and find that someone's painted like all sorts of demonic symbols all over it. <laughs> it's just like, I don't remember commissioning these pentagrams. Wait, hey, this one summons snow. Oh, those bastards! <laughs> oh! <laughs> We're going to be stuck here for weeks! <laughs> no, if you get the right cleaning materials, <laughs> you can get rid of the pentagram. <laughs> Mr. Poirot, you must help us clean the train. <laughs> ah, madame, unfortunately, I am bound to my bed. <laughs> uh, we'll catch you all next time. Later.